It is 12 or 2 a.m. Friday, November 
It's 2 a.m. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, good night, good night. Don't let the donkeys bite. Again, it's Friday, November 18th, 2011. These scratches still hurt me. I feel weird. It feels like the skin is still on it, but you know. Me. Anyway. Here they are. <sighs> Good night, Mommy. I'll have you go on for an hour. I'm napping. I mean, not napping, but, you know, full-time sleep. So, yeah.
check my email first. <coughs> One hour, okay. Great journey. When you buy any eye comfort mattress, hurry for a limited time only. Yeah, I do. Ah, sounds like someone's getting some great deals this Christmas. This Friday and Saturday, winter apparel for the whole family is forty percent off. Spend seventy-five dollars on apparel and get this Kmart exclusive Revlon gift set free. Plus, officially licensed team sportswear is twenty percent off. Now that's Kmart smart. This is Stephen Lynn, and they have a good question. Can the N app make you healthier? Well, that all depends on what you do with it. And there's an awful lot you can do with it. Ask us your medical history. View claims. Get reminders from Amagram. Find in-network doctors. Track your health goals. Run with it. I got my cholesterol down. I lost my pill. See for yourself. Edna.com. Edna. No more. Get better. Over. That was you, that's great, but you gotta give me a bigger sign to let me know you're here. The stuck door isn't gonna do it. Oh, what was that? Okay, guys, it's just something weird that just happened. Huh. What's going on? The camera just fell. What camera? The one that was facing the uh, bed in the loft area. The director's log. Katrina's experience in the bathroom. And try these delicious and easy new recipes, each featuring Chef Boyardee inside. I thought it was an interesting idea to put it into a recipe, but I had never thought of that. This is very nice. It's definitely a different twist. I think it's great. Oh, it's very easy to make. Oh, yeah, I love it. The people have spoken, and the word is yum. Real great food from a real great chef. Surprise, it's Chef. Try a recipe tonight. Visit ChefBoyardee.com. I used to think regular soap left my skin squeaky clean. That's just a bunch of noise. Because that squeak, it's residue. With a lay foaming face wash, it's possible to get a cleaner rinse with less residue than the leading bar soap. Skin so beautiful, it's safe. Olay cleansers. Your body can tell you're pregnant before you can. So can First Response. Only First Response has first to detect technology to capture scant amounts of pregnancy hormones six days sooner. Digital tests can't do that. First Response. We tell you first. Exercise te immodissime spiritus. Omnis in persio adversari in nomini patris. Anti feeling. Hey, Father. Anti spirit. I just saw the storm move. <laughs> you know, Ryan? Could have been the sign of it leaving.
Gloria. It'll just be one more thing she has to fix about me. children in your facilities, but we're going to let him continue to have keys to your building and continue to be able to bring kids in there for camps or whatever and, and use your facilities. And, and, and Paterno could do nothing about that. This is good information if that's the truth. We have a, a great man here with great moral integrity and great character, and people are targeting him. And I'm not going to stand by and let a good man go down. Well, and I'm not going to stand by and...
decided to switch our Friday schedule to Monday, which means that the test we take each Friday on what we learn during the week will now take place on Monday before we've learned it. But since the day is Tuesday, it doesn't matter in the slightest. Pencils ready. <coughs> Today we are going to learn about percentages. And for an example, let's take the recent unpleasantness. Supposing there were a thousand Wonka bars in the world, and during the contest you each opened a certain number of them. That number is a percent. That's exploding candy for your enemies. Great idea, isn't it? Not ready yet, though. Still too weak. Needs more jelly. and then thousands of times. Because if you have guns lying around, people are going to use them over arguments about chores. And then people are going to die. Oh, no, no, it's not, they'll say it's not guns that kill people, it's people that kill people. So I guess the argument they're going to make today is it's not guns that kill people, it's 10-year-olds that kill people. Yeah, 10-year-olds don't kill people unless you give them a gun. And you know what? My guess is he is feeling enormous, unthinkable remorse today. Of course. Right? Uh, and we don't know anything about the kid, but that would be a uh, logical guess, right? And would he have done that without a gun? He wouldn't have. Uh, you can tell me until you're blue in the face that guns are awesome, right? And that we should have as many gu guns per person in America, and that you handle it the best you possibly can. But you got to understand, if you do this... Uh, I'm not scared to fuck a suit. No way. You want to become a skateboarder, dude? Yes, okay, you got I four years. Four years, and I want you to become pro, okay? Can you do it? Yes. Okay, commit to it right now. See, look. Flip. Flip, dog. So what do you think, dude? Awesome. What do you think? You got enough stuff in there, bro? That bag is entirely full of Volcom stuff, as well as this one yeah, is. Yeah, but it's not so much now. This all fits you. I know. This is all, this is my new closet. This is awesome. Explain why we're here today. So who's your dad? Ethan? What does your dad do here at Volcom? Everything? Everything. <laughs> Tell him how long your dad's worked at Volcom. 18 years, right, Dad? Yeah, that's right. 18 years. 18 years, isn't that crazy? That's about how old you are, right? Are you about 18, 19? How old are you? I'm 27. 27, I get the rest yourself. of moods that happens to everybody, I'm sure it happens to you. You're not in a good mood every day, are you? <laughs> well, neither am I. And I'm Shay Coral. I'm supposed to be always in a good mood. Uh, but I think back to a wise man who once told me, Shay, you gotta build bridges. Bridges, Shay. Peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys. Bridges. And I said to that wise man, the hell are you talking about? And then he explained to me, <laughs> peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys, bridges, Shay, peaks and valleys. You're happy one day, you're up, you're on the top of the mountain, on the peak, and then the next day you're in the valley, in the valley of the shadow of death, and you feel so emo, emo tears of blood fall down your face and you're crying, 
shame of enlightenment. I just say words that I know. I don't you're think they sing that. You're, yeah, you're hitting those high notes, bro. A million miles away. Listen to the say. Nice, bro. You hitting puberty? You are? You got some hairy legs, dude. It's seven years old and you got some manly hairy legs going on down here. These big, beefy, hairy legs. So much. What? You didn't see that when we went to lunch. I know. I noticed you're getting some hair on your legs, dude. You're starting to become a man. You got any hair under your armpits? <laughs> any under there? <laughs> that is obnoxious. That is obnoxious with an us on the end of it. Hello. I would like to have a serious chat with you. Um... A very serious chat. As you know, in the earlier clips, I've been watching, um... Gosh! She jumps way up on my dresser now. Anyway, sorry for that interruption. I've been watching Shaytard's, um... Memories and stuff. Those viewer, um... Ones. And, uh, you know, when I fall in love, like seriously in love and not be naive like how I was with Suzanne and, um, how I was treated with you know who on Facebook. Who was taunting me and lied about me to my dad. Yeah, um, if I fell in love with some guy who does not have any of those problems and want to marry him and who isn't a real douchebag, you know, very kind. I was praying God about my future and stuff like that, saying, um, I like kids but I don't want to have twins only one kid at a time, please. You know what I'm saying? But when the time comes to where I want to have kids in the future, I still want to be doing what I'm doing. Making videos. So, um, I'll be talking to my future husband, showing him what Shaytards is all about, and if he likes this idea, go for it. We'll be the next Shaytards. Um, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, tomorrow was Saturday, as you know. I already said that I would do, um, videos on my, uh, camera that I'm on right now, but I decided to, uh, make videos on my other camera, my, um, other one. And a new one with a good picture and stuff. Yes, it might have a lot of encoding to do on Super C. But, you know...
Uh, I put my penis back up there, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Rolling! The only way to make you domination gets you in the spirit of Thanksgiving. The trouble. You're not missing Thanksgiving. Go, go, go! The games. The shopping. You ran out of toys? Not the stress. Calm down. Calm down. The parade. It's a balloon of me. The bickering. The balloon of you? We share, Jamie. And the overindulgence. Dad's getting drunk on Thanksgiving is a holiday tradition. Get ready to get faced in. Let's do this thing. All new tomorrow, 2176 Central on Bus.